The Rocket Writer, How to Write a Nonfiction Book in 24 Hours by C. Ruth Taylor, copyright 2020 by C. Ruth Taylor, read by the author C. Ruth Taylor. Dedication to the authors whose books will transform lives for generations. Introduction. Of making many books, there is no end. King Solomon, Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 12. There's room for more. In case you are hesitant about writing and concerned about a glut of books on the market, have no fear. According to the wisest king who ever lived, Solomon, the writing of books will not cease. It's time for the Caribbean to become a mission force through writing. And since the writing of books will not cease, the need to publish will also not cease. With the development of electronic publishing and companies like Amazon, Lulu, and Smashwords, or Draft Digital, the doors to publishing are wide open. The gate to publishing has been unlocked. And the traditional publishers, who were almost like the sole gatekeepers, now have to contend with the rise of independent authors and publishers. Although traditional publishing still holds a prestigious status, many aspiring authors are not even looking that way. Not out of fear of rejection, but out of the need to control the publishing process and build their platform for impact and income at a faster pace. The challenge, however, is that many aspiring authors are still unfamiliar with the publishing process and clueless or reluctant about the marketing of books. Many are taken advantage of by some self-publishing companies. Some of these done-for-you self-publishing companies charge ridiculously high prices for simple services and operate with a semi-traditional publishing mentality. This means you pay for all the services while they, one, still hold the intellectual property rights to your book for several years, and two, limit where and how you can print and promote your book while they pay you a royalty fee. This kind of arrangement for me is untenable. If the publishing house is not alleviating any costs involved in the publishing process or contributing anything financially, if, as the author, you are paying for all the services, why restrict your printing and promotional platforms? My aim is to educate and empower authors in the Caribbean to write quality books, publish them affordably, and leverage their books for all they're worth. For more information on how to leverage a book for maximum impact and income, get my book, Pen It to Win It at extramileja.com forward slash Roots Bookshop or listen to the audio on YouTube for free. I have found the words of Derek Bach painfully true. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. On that note, I had a rocky start and paid the price of ignorance in the early days of publishing since 2014. I have been writing faster and studying the publishing industry to become a successful author who will raise up other authors and self-publishers from the Caribbean. In the process, I found some secrets to make life easier for independent authors from the Caribbean and other majority or third world countries to add their voice to the publishing industry without breaking the bank. Through the new writing and publishing models, you can gain a platform to launch, build or scale your business, career or ministry endeavors and become financially independent. If you are teachable and committed, you can become a successful independent author and publisher. In this book, I will share my writing process, which I now use to guide nonfiction authors in moving from idea to book faster than they thought possible. This book will help you to write a book that will transform lives, generate sustainable income for retirement, and leave a legacy for future generations. It's a companion to the Start Your Book Now course or the Rocket Writing Masterclass and Bootcamp.
The rocket writing process helps authors to move from desire to done in 24 hours or 30 days with a nonfiction book of 10,000 to 50,000 words. It's time to write your winning nonfiction book faster than you thought possible. This has been replicated by other authors and now it's time to finally write that book and stop procrastinating. Cheers to your writing and publishing dreams. Chapter one, how I became a rocket writer. It began with a heartbreak. In 2014, my engagement fell apart while preparing for the wedding to start a new life. Things fell apart after I had bought my wedding dress, booked the church for the wedding ceremony, the hotel for the wedding reception, selected bridesmaids, and made a deposit on the wedding photography package. To say it was a huge embarrassment is an understatement. It became the dark night of my soul and it threatened my very survival. But you know what they say, the darkest hour is just before dawn. And dawn did come in the most unexpected way. The dawn came one morning while praying when I got a revelatory insight, and it was a reminder not to waste my pain. While praying, I remembered a quote from a book I read as a teenager by noted author and theologian William Barclay. It said, Endurance is not just the ability to bear a hard thing, but to turn it into glory. I knew then exactly how to turn it into glory. Writing! Thus, after 10 years of not believing I could write, when someone told me I could write, I penned my first book, Heartache Queen Unshackled. The manuscript or first draft of that book was completed in 11 days. Yes, you heard right. In 11 days, I wrote almost 68,000 words. So what changed after 10 years? I suddenly had a compelling reason to write, the confidence to do it, and I made the time to do it. In that season, I saw writing as a way to give me a fresh start, and I challenged myself to complete the manuscript before my 34th birthday as a gift to myself. Five years later, to mark another milestone birthday, I challenged myself to write 20 new books in one year to celebrate my 40th birthday. This writing feat was accomplished. However, when I saw that I could not publish all 20 in time for my birthday, I settled for having 20 books published for 2020. Since I had already published four books, I only needed to publish 16 more. During the period of November 2018 to November 2019, using what I now call my rocket writing system, I found myself writing two to three nonfiction book manuscripts per week. In fact, one book from scratch took 11 hours. This, however, was a co-authored project. I think, too, that I was inspired by the 20 Books to 50K movement founded by Michael Anderley. He discovered that if he had 20 fiction books selling for about $7.50 US per day, that he could earn US $50,000 a year to retire in Cabo. The truth is, retirement was also heavy in my mind, and I wanted to write and retire right by age 50. Although Anderley is primarily a fiction author, I decided to follow suit as a nonfiction author and merge this model with the book as a business card or funnel model. This model leverages the power of a book to create multiple income streams and activate persons for greater things. To meet this goal, having a catalog of 20 books published by 2020 as a 40th birthday gift to myself, I changed my strategy to write smaller books rather than the average 50 to 70,000 word standard nonfiction book. I decided to write a book of 10,000 to 30,000 words instead. I also decided to write a variety of nonfiction books to include a no content book or journal and several workbooks. Since I knew my topics well, there was no need to do much research because I was writing from personal experience. 
My writing model is a blend of narrative nonfiction, memoir, and self-help. I teach people how to win at life using my life experiences and my skills. This helped me to get the content out faster once I had an outline. These first drafts would later be polished, beta read, or tested, and published over several months. In the coming chapters, I will delve into this rocket writing process and expose you to my rocket writing system. Prior to this, I had begun to decode my previous system in writing my first four books and created the Idea to 30 Day Manuscript Challenge for my newly formed Indie Entrepreneurs Facebook group in November 2018. The challenge proved to be successful and confirmed that I had a system that could be replicated. The Idea to Manuscript 30 Day Challenge. Rachel Deal of The Balanced Careers defines a manuscript as follows. A manuscript is essentially the earliest draft of a book. It is the unpublished version of a book submitted to agents and editors for publication consideration. In book publishing, agents and editors will often refer to books in manuscript form, noting that the book is in the earliest stages of preparation. A book in manuscript form will always be needed to be edited. And sometimes once the editor has gone through it, it is sent back to the author for a rewrite. Either way, it will likely be sent back to you once it's been edited and proofread so you can make the changes requested. Once it is deemed to be fully ready, it is then sent to the production side of the business where it is prepped to be printed into an actual book. When I first decoded my writing fast system in November 2018 and created the Idea to Manuscript 30-Day Challenge, several persons started and later completed their manuscripts. One participant, Leah Stone Morrison, exceeded all the others. The challenge lit a fire in him and he eventually completed five book manuscripts in one year and published two of them in that same year. He is now the author of Mind Renewal and the Mind Renewal Transformation Devotional Series. His manuscripts were between 30,000 and 50,000 words. Not only that, within three months of publishing his first book, Leo Stone made such a big return on his investment that his wife became a stay-at-home mom. He gave a percentage of his earnings to charity and rebuilt his depleted savings account. If we did it, so can you. It's time to stop procrastinating and write your book now. Someone's destiny or deliverance is tied to your book. Don't keep them waiting. Chapter two, the winning author map. Recently, during a podcast interview, the interviewer said the first thing that came to mind when she heard the term indie author was an Indian author. Of course, this is not what indie means. Indie is short for independent. It is an independent author similar to independent musicians, filmmakers, and artists, etc., who function without the backing of an established company that finances or controls one's work. According to the Alliance of Independent Authors on their website, being an indie author is primarily an approach to writing and publishing, a matter of self-definition. If you see yourself as the creative director of your books, from concept to completion and beyond, then you are an indie. You don't approach publishers with a longing for validation. Publish me, please. Please, I beg you, please. An indie author makes partnerships that help deliver the best possible book to the most possible readers, trade publishers included. Sometimes that might well involve working with an agent to sell certain rights or directly with a trade publisher. The Indie Author Map. This map represents a framework that an indie author can use to write, publish, and build a platform for impact and income. Each letter represents a key part of that process. The breakdown is as follows. And we're looking at a map, A-M-A-P. 
A is for author or audience. At this stage, it is about becoming an author, considering your target audience and writing your book as quickly as possible. It takes into consideration the author's personal brand, mission, and purpose. Who are you as a writer? Why are you writing? For whom are you writing? How will your book help someone? M, methodology. What will be your method or methods of writing and publishing? Will you be writing fiction or nonfiction books? How big will your book be? Will you be outsourcing the entire project or do some yourself or follow a hybrid method? A, authorpreneurship. How will you create impact and income? Authorpreneurship has to do with the monetization of your book. It is leveraging the power of a book for impact and income by creating products and services from your book or building a business around your book. There are two distinct things happening here. One is creating products and services from the book itself and its content. The other is the author leveraging your expert status as an author to build a back-end business. This is even more powerful if the author gains a bestseller status. Therefore, ask yourself about the possibilities. How will you market and promote your book or use your book to promote your business or cause? How will you sell copies, get readers to buy? How might this become a business? P, platform. You don't necessarily have to turn your book into a legitimate business, but you should definitely see it as a tool for transformation. When you become an author, you are positioned as an expert. Being an author gives you a voice and a platform to get across your message to the masses. Therefore, what kind of message do you want to deliver? How will you use your platform to make a difference in the world? This map enabled me to move from being a financially dependent missionary to being a financially independent authorpreneur, making a living with my writing and publishing skills, knowledge, and experience. Chapter three, author struggles and fears. According to Charles Bukowski, a novelist and poet, the problem with the world is that the intelligent people are full of doubts while the stupid ones are full of confidence. Many aspiring authors and even successful authors struggle with self-doubt, feelings of inadequacy, fear and insecurity about their writing. In working with aspiring authors, I realize that even when they know what they want to write about, they still can't make the leap to write or they start writing and stop. The truth is, even after quickly writing my first manuscript, it took nine months to publish and months before release, I told my publisher to put it on hold. I was afraid of getting it out there, especially since it was my autobiography. I was fearful of releasing content that could possibly hurt others. I was afraid of criticism and all kinds of things. If you are struggling with writer self-doubt, I can relate. Recently, an aspiring author called me and she had so much apprehension regarding her book that it crippled her from writing. And then life happened. Even after completing 26 manuscripts at the time of writing and producing two Amazon bestsellers, I still struggle with doubts and fears regarding my writing, but I have learned to push past them. What are your author struggles and fears? These are some of the common factors that prevent aspiring authors from writing. One, they are not clear on what to write about. Two, they struggle with self-doubt and lack of confidence. Three, they can't seem to find the time to write. Four, they're experiencing personal struggles, which could be emotional, financial, family problems, or health problems. Five, the timing is not right because various things are happening in their lives. Perhaps they're transitioning, grieving, or have taken on additional responsibilities. Six, it is not a priority and there is no compelling reason to write. And seven, they don't have a strategy to write and are unsure how to go from idea to book. The good news is you can overcome these hurdles. The secrets shared in this portion will help you to overcome them. In her book, The Successful Author Mindset, Joanna Penn shares a quote by Mark Bukowski that has helped me to overcome author's self-doubt. He says, 
Poor writers are confident. Good writers struggle with self-doubt. I want you to know that writer self-doubt is normal, but don't stay in that state. Here are seven of my personal tips that enabled me to keep writing despite author's self-doubt. One, I had a compelling why that became stronger than my fears. Two, I simplified the nonfiction book writing process. Three, I changed the way how I saw writing. Four, I defined what success as an author would look like for me. Five, I focused more on those who needed my message to win rather than my own feelings of inadequacy. Six, I studied the writing industry to learn what I did not know, and I continued to study book publishing weekly to overcome my inadequacies. Number seven, I partnered with others who were further along the journey and listened to their stories. It is also important for you to determine from early what success will look like. Will it be any of the following? One, becoming a best-selling author. Two, leaving a legacy. Three, winning a Pulitzer Prize or a big literary award. Four, recognition from a traditional publisher through a traditional publishing deal. Five, writing for impact. Six, making a living with your writing. Seven, building a platform to change lives. Eight, selling a million books. Nine, becoming a six-figure author. Or is it 10, building a brand or establishing yourself as an expert? These decisions will determine your publishing path and the plan you create to fulfill your dreams of becoming a successful published author. Chapter four, rocket writing principles. Before I get into my rocket writing strategy, let me lay a foundation to build this rocket writing house. <laughs> Bear in mind these six keys to become a rocket writer. One, mindset. My pastor, Reverend Renard White, normally says at our evangelism street meetings, Christianity is a make up your mind business. In the same way, writing is a make up your mind business. You have to believe you can write and that you can write even faster than you think. The house of rocket writing begins with a new mindset. Number two, a purpose-driven book. You need a compelling reason to write or you may never write and give up when the process gets hard. Author Simon Sinek in his book, Start With Why, emphasizes the why factor as a core reason behind successful enterprises such as Apple and Google. Writing a purpose-driven book is essential to be a successful author. I've had many flops and bumps on this writing journey. I remember really struggling with the manuscript of my third book. It seemed I would never finish. I literally cried. I had to fast and pray and change the deadlines for each section of my book outline. It took longer than I planned, but I did it. It was my purpose that kept me going. Writing and publishing have been worth it because the publications have made a positive impact and the feedback has been good. I share this with you because it's important to know that sometimes you will not be in the mood to write. Life happens. You may experience writer's block, but keep pressing. Remember your why and you will get there. Three, prioritization. If you don't make writing a priority, it won't get done. Four, advanced preparation. Prior proper planning prevents poor performance. I often say to my tribe, before you write it, design it. Before you do it, design it. In other words, one should not just take tools, but have an overview of the entire process so you can use the tools well. Plan when you will write and how you will write, then execute. Create your book's GPS so that you don't get lost on the writing journey. Five, pen it. Researching about writing is good, but many of us get stuck in the research and preparation phase. We suffer from the paralysis of analysis. Too many of us cannot bridge the performance gap. Knowing exercise is good for you does not mean you will exercise. Knowing how to write is no guarantee you will write. You have to write. Stop talking about writing and write. 
Stop procrastinating and wishing. Start writing. Let me give you 12 book creation ideas. Your dream of becoming an author is closer to realization than you think. Many, if not all of us, have a book inside us, but we don't know it yet, or we have created book-worthy content and are unaware of it. These ideas will help you to begin to see how many books you have in you already. With a little guidance and coaching, these 12 book creation ideas can help you to write a small or average size nonfiction book in 24 hours or 30 days. Number one, courses to books. If you're a teacher, your course material properly organized is a book. Example, Entrepreneur Secrets by C. Ruth Taylor. Two, teaching series to books. If you teach in series, you already have a book, especially Bible teachers. An example of that is The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. It was a series that he was teaching at his church that became a book. Three, seminar workshop bootcamps to books. Turn your most effective workshops, webinars, and seminars into books. Entrepreneur Secrets by C. Ruth Taylor is an example. Number four, speaking to books. Turn your most powerful or impactful speaking topics into books. Example, Living a Royal Reality by Crystal Day. Number five, coaching or mentoring programs or techniques to books. Convert your coaching program to a book or workbook. Example, My Design to Win Roadmap. Number six, counseling programs or techniques to books. Create a workbook or textbook to reflect your counseling program or technique. Example, Ree's Journey by Dr. Louise Malcolm. Blogs or articles to books. Blog in series and convert it to a book. An example of that is A Controversial Clergyman by Dr. Clinton Chisholm. Eight, sermons to books. Convert your sermon or your sermon series to a book. Example, Overcoming Crisis by Dr. Miles Monroe. Number nine, dissertation or thesis to books. Convert to multiple books if you wish. An example of this is Yes, They Can by Dr. Clara Ricketts. Ten, bootcamp training or mentoring programs. Convert your training or mentoring program to a book. Example, My Design to Win Roadmap and the book Entrepreneur Secrets by C. Ruth Taylor. Eleven, your occupation training skills or expertise to books. Take what you have been doing for years and create a book. An example of that is What Color Is Your Parachute by Dick Bowles. Number 12, your testimony or life lessons or your story to books. Example, Michelle Obama's Becoming. Chapter 5, The Rocket Writing Process. This is a proven system. Please try it and approach it with an open mind before you dismiss it or alter it. Be willing to experiment and trust the process. If it doesn't work for you, then feel free to try another system. The rocket writing process is a combination of simple strategies to eliminate the time excuse and enable you to eat the writing elephant bit by bit. Perhaps like me initially, you have a desire to write or someone has told you that you should write a book, but you just can't bring yourself to do it. The strategies shared in this section will help you to begin writing your book now or finish your book now instead of waiting 10 years like I did. There are those who question the quality of books written fast. I am not here to debate this. As long as my books are helping people, my goal is accomplished. When I share my work and readers message me about its positive impact, then my mission is accomplished. Remember, we are not trying to be like Shakespeare. We are writing to help people solve problems, to educate, encourage, and inspire people to win at life. I believe someone's deliverance is tied to my books and the ones you will write. Therefore, write them and expedite that process if you can. Tomorrow is promised to no one. My 12-step rocket writing process. The aim of this system is to write a nonfiction book of 10,000 to 30,000 words in a literal 24 hours. This can be done over a week, in two or three days, or you can spread it 
out over 30 days. This can be achieved by doing these 12 things. Number one, choose your topic from your area of expertise, experience, knowledge, or passionate interest. Two, identify the chief message or thesis, audience, and purpose of the book. Three, create your entire book outline. Four, utilize the seal it technique to create your book chapters. I'll explain seal it later. Number five, create writing blocks. Six, eliminate distractions. Seven, choose your writing method and tools. Eight, write from your head and heart without editing. Nine, gather pre-existing material or do quick Google research as you write a chapter. 10, set a time to start and a deadline to complete the entire manuscript. 11, write a small book, 10,000 to 30,000 words. And 12, establish a system of accountability. I use these 12 steps every time to finish my books. Here's a summary explanation of the process. Always start by choosing a topic that's familiar to you, one you can write from your head and heart. It is something that not only interests you, but you have some experience, expertise, and knowledge in this area. If you don't, you may not be able to go fast unless it is a collaborative process where you are using the expertise of other persons and they commit to submit their content within your set timeline. The next step is to identify your audience and the central message of the book. Who are your readers or target audience? What is the main thing you want them to leave with? Discover or learn in reading your book. This is important so you can write with the reader's needs in mind and cater to their needs. Next, bear in mind the purpose of this book as you write and how you plan to use it. Create a rough draft or outline for the entire book, then break down the chapters. Not all writers need an outline. Some only need an idea and they will start writing and finish the draft quickly. This has been my method. Be flexible with both your timeline and your outline. You will find yourself making changes as ideas get clearer. Write one chapter at a time. You can write a chapter in 15 to 30 minutes. Set your word count, block the time to write each chapter, and eliminate distractions. Resist the urge to edit while you are writing each chapter. The goal is to get the ideas out of your head onto paper as quickly as possible, not as perfectly as possible. Write drunk, edit sober, as they would say. No, I'm not talking about drinking wine and getting drunk in order to write. I'm saying that as you write, just let the information flow. The first draft is often crappy, although there are authors who write clean first drafts. Write with your heart first and edit with your head later. Write fast, edit slowly. You can take two or three months to polish or refine the manuscript later. Chances are you will have to rewrite aspects of the draft. If you're a perfectionist, don't keep editing the manuscript to death. You have to finish at some point. What writing methodology and tools will you use? Are you going to speak your book, write your book, or both? Will you get a ghostwriter? Recording or dictating increases your speed exponentially. There are voice-to-text programs that allow you to record and transcribe at the same time. Our favorite is otter.ai. Next is Google Speech-to-Text microphone on your Android smartphone. I find the Samsung phones most useful in this regard. The iPhone should have similar speech-to-text applications. You can simply speak it and it will type it. You don't need any special writing software. Although there are those who write using software like Scrivener and Vellum. I found the simplest way of writing is grabbing your laptop, computer, or smartphone and begin writing or recording your thoughts with your chapter outline in mind. Set a writing appointment for at least 15 minutes at a time. This is the heart of our rocket writing strategy, especially for busy people. If you want to go longer, you can, but write or record for at least 10 minutes. Write a book of eight to 12 chapters. If you want to write a book of 15,000 words, block 10 to 15, 15 minute sessions. You can get 600 to 2,000 words written 
or two to 10 pages written in 10 to 15 minutes. You may also do like I do. I clear my schedule and block whole days or weekends to write. Precautions. Treat your writing appointment like a doctor's appointment or TV interview appointment. Don't miss it. It's a must and not a should activity. The appointment may be early mornings, late nights, a whole vacation, while you wash or use the bathroom, while you walk, while traveling on a plane, or during your layover, etc. Find a method that works for you. Thriller in the author Joanna Penn writes in coffee shops while listening to thunderstorms on her headset. Do what works for you. We reiterate, eliminate distractions and focus. This means no social media, no phone calls, silence notifications, put your phone on airplane mode, etc. Do what it takes to write your book as quickly as you can. Finally, get an accountability partner, someone who will monitor your progress and check in on you regularly. When we're doing the 30-day manuscript challenge in our Indie Entrepreneurs Group, we support and encourage one another, and this keeps us accountable. When I wrote my first book, my mother checked in with me regularly. Additionally, meal prep if writing for long periods. When I set out to write for a day, I don't have much time to cook, so I need to prepare meals in advance or eat fruits. I usually get in a state of flow quickly and do not want to break that flow to prepare a meal. If you find that you are losing the zeal and the inspiration, I want you to write down the rewards and your reasons for this writing project and keep looking at it. If you're a person of faith, I encourage you to pray and let God guide you as you write. This is my personal secret sauce for ideas to write and strength to finish. Prayer, revelation, action. I don't even need an accountability partner these days. I have become disciplined and committed to the purpose of writing. It's a vocation and a call to transform lives and help people create sustainable income. I must write for greater impact. Books have been my medicine and I want my books to be medicine for others. Chapter six, how to choose your book topic. I've discovered seven ways to choose a topic. These are as follows. One, things discussed the most. What do you find yourself talking about a lot? Is it sports, relationships, money, love, retirement, hope, church, justice, life lessons, etc.? These things can become the topic for your book. Two, expertise, knowledge, and training or skills. What are you good at? What have you been trained in? That is a good way to decide what to write about and help you to write a purpose-driven book. Those who will be speaking or coaching write along those lines. What kind of coaching do you do? What topics do you like to speak on? Are you a financial, leadership, fitness, or relationship expert? Are you a counselor? Document your systems and turn them into manuals and guides. A book with your expertise will amplify your reach and increase your impact and income. Three, brain picks. What is it that people request from you the most? What are they always picking your brain about? What is it that when people have a problem, they turn to you to solve it? Again, this could become a how-to book, guide, or manual. Number four, something valuable or worthwhile sharing. These could be lessons you've learned over the years and solutions to a problem. Is it worth sharing? Do you feel that this information could change lives? I'm sure the author of the book and the movie, Hidden Figures, recognized that she had found something that could help young women take on more of the STEM careers, science, technology, engineering, and math. Thus, she shared those inspiring stories with the world. As a matter of fact, people generally write for three reasons, to inspire, educate, or entertain. With what topic can you educate, entertain or inspire someone in writing. Find it and write about it. Number five, your inspirational story or journey of overcoming. If you're writing an autobiography or memoir, a good way to make it a winning book is to let it be based on the lessons learned. So you're not just telling your story. Your book could be 
someone's legacy that you want to preserve or chronicle before they die. Number six, exceptional life experiences. It could be experiences of your travels or just interesting experiences you've had which contain lessons that can help others. In Jamaica, we had this veteran journalist, Ian Bowen, who for over a period of 30 years conducted weekly interviews of high achievers. Eventually, he collated these interviews and they became a book called The Profile of Excellence. Number seven, teaching, counseling, coaching material. What is it that you can teach others? Do you know how to write a book, cook, build things, market and sell, etc.? Everything is teachable and you can create an instructional book around things you wish to teach. This could be related to your business, counseling or coaching program. And here's a bonus. If you're a Christian or religious person, as I said before, when I shared 12 book ideas, ask yourself, what is the topic that you believe God is telling you to write about? Bonus. If you're a Christian, as I shared earlier in 12 book ideas, or a religious person, what is the topic that you believe God is telling you to write about? This is how I get most of my book topics. I get book ideas in dreams and in my times of prayer. I trust that these ideas, along with the 12 book creation ideas shared earlier, will help you to choose your book topic or title now. Okay, so what will you write about? Chapter 7. Identify your book's message, audience, and purpose. So in this rocket writing book, we are breaking down the map and taking you through a step-by-step -step process. Identify your book's message, audience, and purpose. This is a secret that will not only help you to write better, but market your book like a boss and sell more books. It is writing for an audience or with your ideal reader in mind. Here are three mistakes new authors make. One, they write without thinking about a specific audience. Listen, if you write for everybody, you are writing for nobody. Two, not writing to solve a problem or organizing the book around a central idea. Note, every nonfiction book must solve a problem. The clearer you are on that problem and the solution you have for the reader, the better you will write. Three, they're focused on themselves rather than the audience, especially when writing their story. The reader wants to know W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for me? Focus on the transformation you desire for the reader. It's about them, not you. This does not mean you cannot tell your story, but it must be to support a central idea. If the reader can't see how the book will inspire, educate, entertain, or benefit them, they won't buy. If you don't know your specific audience, it will be difficult for you to build your platform. If you don't know who your audience is, you will be firing scattered shots and wasting energy. It will be difficult to get people to attend your events or buy your products or services if you later want to become an author, entrepreneur, or authorpreneur. Few people will read your book and you will not be able to sustain sales long term. Therefore, ask yourself, who specifically can this book help? What problem could this book help them to solve? Describe the person who would benefit from the book. In what way would they benefit? Be very specific and practical. Example, if writing about mental health issues, say, this book is for the single mother who would like to overcome her struggle with anxiety. It shows six steps to overcome anxiety so you can be a better parent and enjoy your life. Remember, your book could be the boat or bridge that helps someone to cross over to the other side safely and happily. Chapter 8. How to create your book outline. In this portion, we will further help you to write your book now with the all-important GPS, the outline. Without a book writing GPS, you will not get to your destination as quickly as possible. An outline, even a vague one, will ensure you write with direction and focus. I learned the importance of the outline when I helped my friend Raquel to write her book, The Albino Marketer. For about a year, I had been encouraging her to write her story, but it was not until I helped her to create an outline before she actually wrote the book. Despite hearing of all the wonderful doors a book could open. Within 60 days, she had written over 30,000 words. I realized having the book outline is the secret sauce. 
And I'm going to teach you how to create that nonfiction book outline to finish your book in 24 hours or 30 days. Here are some ideas. One, use the audiobook model. A small nonfiction audiobook is between two and four hours. Bigger nonfiction books are between five and eight hours. So imagine you have to present the entire content in three hours or eight hours based on the topic of your book. Rewrite the core message of your book and brainstorm all the things you would want to say or include to cover the topic in two to four hours. Pretend it is a one-day seminar and create an hour-by-hour -hour schedule for these presentations. Each hour could be equivalent to writing a chapter or two of the book. After brainstorming, create a draft table of contents for the book. Here's a sample book outline. Topic, overcoming sexual abuse. Message, you can have a happy ending despite childhood sexual abuse. Target, young adult females. Part one, the start. How it all began, who, where, what, when, the feelings and impact. Part two, overcoming. How did you overcome it? What steps did you take? When did you tell someone? How did parents and loved ones handle it? How did it influence your relationship with others? What's your happy ending? How did that happen? So that's an example of how you could go about creating the outline and notice that I put it in categories. And these could just be bullet points, questions that you are writing that you are going to respond to later. Here are some more book outline tips. The design does not have to be elaborate. You just need to have an idea of what you want to include in the book and how you plan to start or finish the book before you start writing. You will find that even when you create an outline, things will change. More ideas will come and some eliminated. Be flexible. You may start on one topic and end up writing a different book all together. That's exactly what happened when I started writing Design to Win Roadmap, which became an Amazon bestseller. I started making a list of some keys to win at life for a chapter, and those keys became a book by itself. The book was even published before Design to Win Roadmap. That book was Keys to Win at Life, 100 Ways to Handle Life's challenges. So don't be afraid to abandon your original ideas and add new ones as you write. So here are seven tips when creating your book outline. Write down the book topic again. That's number one. And that's optional. Two, write down the target audience again. Three, brainstorm everything to cover your topic including all points, examples, stories, questions, expert data, quotes, etc. Four, segment ideas into broad categories or themes. Example, before, during, and after. Five, look for common ideas to create content for each chapter. Six, take the person or group on a logical journey as you are thinking about this topic to write the book. Seven, organize all ideas to create a proper table of contents. Chapter nine, how to prepare and pen your book chapters. Even after some aspiring authors have created their book outline, they still struggle to start writing their book chapters. Some of the questions they often ask at this stage are as follows. One, how do I convert the topics on the outline to actual book chapters? How many chapters should I have? That's number two. Three, how do I actually write the chapters? Four, how long should each chapter be? Five, when I'm writing, how do I know I am on the right track? Six, do I need any special writing software? Seven, how many words do I write per chapter? Now, while there are different chapter writing techniques, I primarily focus on the SEALY technique in our training, which is based on giving an exciting, powerful, educational and inspirational presentation or talk, similar to TED Talks. And SEAL it is an acronym. SEAL is C-I-E-L. How to seal your chapters? 
This is adopted from a speech technique similar to giving a TED talk. Every TEDx talk is based on a central idea worth spreading. These talks are short and powerful. The speakers often start with a compelling introduction, that's the CI, connected to the central idea, another CI. Then they expound, that's the E, explain the idea by providing evidence, examples, explanation, and they evoke emotions, and then close the speech by linking everything together. Some even do a brief recap of all main points in the presentation and close. What does seal it or seal represent? Central idea or chapter topic. Introduction, it must be compelling, attention grabbing and related to the main point of the chapter topic. You will E, expound or explain, provide evidence, sometimes statistics, research or scientific finds. You will give examples and experience events or stories evoke emotions. You will add a learning activity, sometimes questions, reflection, exercises, etc. And then you will link everything together. You create a conclusion by linking back to the main points of the chapter, or you do a summary of main points. That's how you write a chapter in a nonfiction book. Here's what I do and teach in replicating this process. Picture your reading audience, just one person, so that your writing tone is conversational. Take that person on a transformational journey. Give your TEDx talk. Consider all the things you need to tell this person. Brainstorm and write down the ideas. If it is your life story, jot down all the lessons or parts of your life you want to share. What stories would be better to use? What illustrations would make the points clearer? Gather the tools and utilize the relevant information in the chapter. I encourage authors to always travel with a notebook or use the notepad app on their phones to capture ideas or information that could later be used in their books. Read other books and take notes because you never know when that story, statistic, or quote might come in handy. Make it a habit to write, blog, email, and teach in series. These will eventually become the content for your books. Having content already can increase the speed of your writing when you're writing your manuscript. If you're writing your autobiography or memoir, remember your story is not just your story. Others are involved. Notify them that you are writing to militate against possibly any fallout. Use pseudonyms to change the names of people and places and get permissions where necessary. You don't want to be sued for defamation of character or end up with bad relationships. Even though it's a memoir, still provide useful and practical information. Let people walk away with solutions and inspiration. As you write, Keep the reader's attention throughout the book with stories or cliffhangers and end well. Although it is nonfiction, you may want to end with a story. You can even tell bits and pieces of one main story throughout the book and leave a problem unsolved or a juicy bit of information, a secret hanging until the end of the book. So let's set a chapter writing plan. I am going to give you 10 steps to do that. One, Set a time for each chapter for 15 to 30 minutes or as long as you want. Two, give a 10 to 30 minute practice speech, talk or presentation, sharing or conversation, etc. on each chapter. Record and transcribe it using a speech to text app. Our favorite is otter.ai. Three, grab your phone or laptop, pen or pencil or paper and get to work. Four, determine the word count for the book. Five. Determine how many chapters you want to write. Decide on the word count per chapter. That's number six. Number seven, schedule writing blocks and write the chapters. Number eight, report to an accountability partner. Number nine, self-edit and polish your manuscript when done. And ten, you're going to enter the publishing phase. Chapter ten. Winning the writing battle. There's an African proverb that says, tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. How long will you talk about writing before you finish that book? I hope to light a fire in you in this chapter. I'm also going to be quite frank and hard hitting. After all, 
someone's deliverance is tied to your book. It's time to stop procrastinating and holding up their deliverance. How long have you been wanting to write a book? How long has it been since your friends, family, and others have been telling you to write that book? What is it that is preventing you from writing? Don't say that since I have written more than 20 books, that's easy for you to say, Ruth, but not for me. Remember, it took me 10 years to gain the courage to write the first book. However, once I had a compelling reason to write, my writing process was quick. Too often after speaking, people are motivated to act, but many never do. According to Rob Kosberg, citing a research done in the United States, over 80% of Americans feel they have a book in them and should write, but only 1% do. The statistics is found in Publish, Promote, Profit, a book by Rob Kosberg. So what does it take to ultimately move from desire to done? I believe it requires commitment and time blocking. While there are several reasons that prevent people from writing, including lack of confidence, fear, self-doubt, and lack of know-how or life crises, I believe the biggest factor in moving from desire to done is commitment. Commitment means making decision to write and taking actions to do it within a specified timeline. If you fail to commit to write in a given time period and block the time to write, all the tools and strategies in the world will be useless and you will never move from desire to done. Leadership expert and author of several best-selling books, Dr. John Maxwell says that one of the causes of failure is weak commitment. Over the past two years, as I was writing this book, I noticed that the difference between aspiring authors who started and finished their books was a matter of commitment. In 2018, when I ran the 30-Day Idea to Manuscript Challenge, several aspiring authors were excited and they said they would finish, but did not. However, Leo Stone and Raquel did. Leo Stone did it despite struggling for years with procrastination, having four children, working full-time and doing other activities because he made a commitment to finish. He created a plan, stuck to his schedule and completed his book. As said before, he went on, to publish two books in one year. When I ran the first rocket writing bootcamp, participants were clocking an average of 1500 words every 10 minutes. When I ran the second bootcamp, one participant, Davia Williams, clocked 17,000 words in less than six hours, almost completing the first draft of her manuscript. She had one chapter remaining and she wanted to complete it at another time. In every sector where there is achievement and efficiency, there are timelines and people who take those timelines seriously. But somehow when it comes to writing a book, people resort to feelings, inspiration, and mood. I need to feel inspired. I need to be in the right mood. Now, while inspiration and feelings are not to be dismissed, if you apply that to other areas of your life, it won't work. Oh, when I feel like submitting the work to the boss, I will. Oh, when I feel inspired to finish the term paper, I will. Oh, when I feel like catching the plane, I will. When I feel like preaching that sermon, I will. Oh, the lies we tell ourselves to not write. If you are serious about writing and you sensitize yourself about the writing process, you must commit to write in a given period or you will not. Researching about writing is not writing. Make a decision. Write or dictate and speak your book. Get your butt in that chair and write. Find a method that works and write. Set deadlines. If you had a traditional publishing deal, you best believe they'd give you a timeline to finish the project. You best believe those authors do their utmost to honor it. So why is it that aspiring indie authors feel like they must write when they feel like. People find time to do what is important to them. If writing a book is a priority, you will commit to doing it just like going to your job or taking care of your kids or going to your doctor's appointment. Treat your writing project with seriousness and professional commitment. But I want writing to be fun. I want to enjoy the process, I hear authors say. 
Note, setting timelines does not take the fun and enjoyment out of writing. Sports games have timelines and deadlines and they're fun. To enjoy writing, write freely and forget about the readership and the critics. If you're serious about writing your book now, I invite you to sign the Finish Your Book Pledge, which you can find at extramilja.com slash finish your book pledge. Do not only set a time to start and finish, set a reward, a compelling reward to write and write. Remember, if you fail to commit to writing a given time period and do not block the time to write, all the tools and strategies in the world will be useless and you will never move from desire to done. The finish your book pledge goes like this. I, and then you put in your name, commit to start my book on XYZ date and complete the first manuscript draft in 30 days or by X date of X month in X year. Then you're required to give your signature to date it and get a witness <laughs> to sign it and date it. You can get it at extramalja.com slash finish your book pledge and just download it. Conclusion. Just do it. William Barclay said, endurance is not just the ability to bear a hard thing, but to turn it into glory. I used to think writing was reserved for people with great literary skills and that it needs to take years to write a valuable book. I discovered that in writing nonfiction books that your years of experience, skills, and expertise are all that matter. With the right editor and publishing team, they can transform your words into a literary masterpiece. Not only that, once you have a story or message worth sharing, it can be organized in a simple form to create a valuable nonfiction book. You don't need to be a literary genius to write a nonfiction book. Record and organize your ideas and share them with the world. Once you've written a book, the possibilities are endless. If you write it, you will speak it or teach it. You can write and retire right, and you need not take 10 years before you find the courage to write like I did. Once you've written that book, don't minimize those possibilities by merely selling your books to friends and family. Build a business, launch a movement, Aim for a cause and multiply the impact of your book. As indie authors, we stand at one of the greatest moments in history. Let's make the best of it. If you are just beginning your journey, this book will give you the right foundation you need to accelerate your progress. Remember, someone's destiny is tied to your book. Don't keep them waiting. Someone's healing or deliverance is tied to your book. Don't keep them waiting. If you've enjoyed listening to this audiobook, do leave a review in the comment section on YouTube or go to Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Just Google the title, The Rocket Writer by C. Ruth Taylor and you will find the book. Buy it. It's free of cost and leave a review on Amazon or wherever you found this book. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Acknowledgements. I give all praise and thanks to my King Christ Jesus for guiding me on this journey. To my immediate family, especially my mother, thanks for partnering with me on this journey. Mom, you're hands down the biggest supporter of my books. I pray that you will soon reap tangible rewards for your faith and investment over these years. To the members of my Indie Entrepreneurs Group and my clients, thanks for giving me the privilege of serving you and the joy of watching you thrive on your publishing journey. About the author. Kamika Ruth Taylor is a Jamaican entrepreneur, credential master teacher, and coach from the beautiful island of Jamaica. She has 20 years of experience in teaching from the early childhood to the tertiary level of the education system in Jamaica. She's an author of over 20 books at the time of The Rocket Writer, including two Amazon bestsellers. 
She makes a full-time living from her writing and the income streams it generates. Ruth not only publishes her own books, but has helped many Caribbean authors to make their publishing dreams a reality by breaking down the price barrier to entry and simplifying the publishing process. She's on a mission to ensure fewer books die in the minds of their authors, that more manuscripts become published legacies, and precious lives are transformed with the turn of each page. With over 17 years of speaking and traveling experience across 14 countries, Ruth continues to activate, educate, and empower thousands of people in Jamaica, other countries in the Caribbean region, Latin America, and Africa to win in their personal, professional, and spiritual lives for the glory of God. Contact her at ruthtaylor@extramalja.com or her website, www.extramalja.com if you need her coaching writing, publishing consultation, or speaking services. And again, if you found this material helpful, please submit a review on the platform where you heard it or bought it and read it. Other resources by C. Ruth Taylor. If you're interested in entrepreneurship, join our free Facebook tribe, in the entrepreneurs to learn how to publish on a budget, create multiple streams of income and impact more lives with books. Upon joining, you get a one-page pre-publishing checklist and other goodies. You may also subscribe to Root's YouTube channel to learn some entrepreneur secrets and powerful proven tips to win in your life and career, as well as to win with books. The Entrepreneur Secret Series is a series that Ruth created to help authors on their journey. The Rocket Writer is one of six books in the Authorpreneurship series to empower you to write and win with books. These books will provide step-by-step -step guidance to write your short Ruth-like, or as we say in Jamaica, Talawa nonfiction books, publish them cost-effectively, and leverage them to generate lasting impact and income. These are the other five books in the series. Authorpreneur Secrets, Write fast, publish affordably, and generate lasting income. The Entrepreneur Secrets Workbook, Write fast, publish affordably, and create sustainable income for retirement. Then there's Penny to Win It, Going Beyond Book Sales. Then there's Publishing Secrets, How to Publish Professionally and Cost-Effectively, which Ruth uses in her training programs to certify publishing coaches. And five, Write and Retire Right, Secrets to write nonfiction books fast and create sustainable income for retirement. So along with the Rocket Writer, these six books make up Ruth's Entrepreneur Secrets book series. You can find Ruth's other books at www.extramalja.com forward slash Ruth's book shop. You've just heard The Rocket Writer, How to Write Your Nonfiction Book in 24 Hours by C. Ruth Taylor. Narrated by C. Ruth Taylor. Published by Extra Mile Innovators. Copyright 2020 by C. Ruth Taylor. The End.